and nosebleed, an unexpected twist in our day. It's not just the sight of blood that alarms us, but a cascade of questions that follow. Could this be a warning sign of high blood pressure or cancer or blood disorder? We will explore when nosebleed is harmless and when it necessitates immediate medical attention. Generally, about 95% of nosebleeds are benign and not a cause for concern. However, 5% may be indicative of life-threatening conditions. First, dry air is the most common cause of nosebleeds, accounting for 40% of cases. This is especially common in cold climates where indoor heating dries out the air leading to cracked and irritated nasal mucosa. If a nosebleed occurs, the solution is to pinch soft part of the nose, lean forward and breathe through mouth for 5 to 10 minutes to allow the blood to clot. Second, nasal trauma and nose picking are also common causes, particularly among children with a probability of 30%. For kids, the sensitivity and weakness of their nasal laning make it easier to bleed from nose picking or trauma. Third common cause is inflammation and infection of nasal cavity, resulting from common colds, flu or allergies. Such infections can damage nasal lining, leading to nose bleeds. Treatment involves addressing the underlying cause such as using antihistamines and nasal corticosteroids for allergies or antibiotics for bacterial sinusitis. 4. The use of nasal sprays, particularly decongestants, like oxymetazoline and penileprine. If you use them for more than 3 days, they can cause nosebleed. It happens due to rebound effect, which means increased nasal congestion and symptoms after stopping using medications. That increases dryness and irritation and increased risk of bleeding. The solution is to limit using decongestants and switch to nasal sprays based on saline. 5. Hypertension, responsible for 5% of cases. High blood pressure damages nasal blood vessels over time, especially small capillaries and cause bleeding. Treatment includes blood pressure medications, low sodium diet, weight loss, and re reducing alcohol intake. 6. Medications, blood thinners, and anatomical issues. They are responsible for around 10% of cases. For example, deviation in the nasal septum, the wall between the nostrils, can cause one side of nose to become dry and more susceptible to bleeding. Also, nasal polyps and enlarged blood vessels in the nasal cavity increase risk of bleed. And 7. Rarely, blood disease and cancers, including leukemia and nasal cancers, can cause nosebleeds. Hemophilia is a rare disorder in which blood does not clot normally because there is deficiency in blood clotting proteins. Also, well, Willem Brandt disease causes prolonged bleeding period. From cancer, leukemia is important, in which abnormal white blood cells are produced. It interferes with platelet production and causes easy bleeding. Although, nosebleed is not the primary symptom of leukemia. Other symptoms include prolonged low-grade fever and chills, frequent infections, unintentional weight loss, swollen lymph nodes, and enlarged liver and spleen. Easy bruising and bleeding and small red spots on the skin called petechiae. Red flags for nosebleeds when urgent medical attention is needed are frequent and recurrent nosebleeds, for example, several episodes in a week for several consecutive weeks, prolonged bleeding time with nosebleeds that last longer than 20 minutes, even after applying pressure, unexplained symptoms such as prolonged low-grade fever and chills, frequent infections, weight loss, fever, fatigue or sign of infections, and blood in the urine, blood in the stool or gums, and easy bruising, enlarged lymph nodes, and enlarged liver and spleen. Such warning signs can indicate blood disorders or leukemia.